Hey, I'm Doug. Welcome to Backcountry Pilgrim. This channel is dedicated to hiking, backpacking, and walking the Camino de Santiago. Today I want to talk to you about flashlights, headlamps, and lighting your way. And I'm also doing my first gear giveaway as a thank you to my subscribers. So make sure you watch all the way to the end so you can find out how you can win a Vaunt headlamp. All right, let's talk about some times on your Camino that you may want some supplementary light. One possible time would be if you end up coming into a town a little late, sun's going down, maybe it took you a little longer than you expected to get there, and you want a little extra light to find your way around, read signs, or even more importantly, let other people see you. A much more common time to need a light is in the morning. If you're an early riser and you're in an albergue, the last thing you want to do is flick the light on, wake all the pilgrims up, and possibly get beaten down, which would be a completely appropriate response. So in those cases, what you want to have is a small personal light source to help you get ready without waking everybody else up. Now, one of the most obvious light sources that you will probably be bringing with you anyway is your phone. If you got a background on there that is nice and bright, just turning the phone on might be enough to get you around. And of course, if it isn't, you've always got the flashlight option. Now, of course, this is gonna kill your battery pretty quick. But the nice thing about the phone is that it does double duty. You have something you're already bringing with you, and now it can take the place of bringing another piece of equipment. Next, we have the flashlight. Now, I personally buy pretty much only tactical flashlights, simply because they're usually very bright. Uh, this, is, this one is not terribly bright. This one is uh, quite a bit more bright. So these little babies are made of metal. Uh, they can be used as a personal defense weapon, which means they are double duty as well. You may have to be careful getting these through airport security, but they're usually fairly lightweight. They got a nice little clip on them often. They can zoom in and out. There's usually a, a number of things that these will do for you that just a regular cheap plastic flashlight won't. However, you gotta keep in mind that some of these are extremely bright, and if they don't have a way to adjust the beam or adjust the brightness, it could be a little much. The last thing you want is to be waking up and, oops, I accidentally turned on the strobe light. Sorry, everybody. So make sure that you know how your flashlights work. Another option that I like a lot is the clip light. What you can do with one of these guys is clip this onto your backpack or your belt. It gives you a nice flood pool of light and it also makes it really clear where you are in relation to other people so they can see you. And now this just becomes part of your backpack system. You could of course also just use a little keychain light which is very lightweight easy to clip onto your backpack, it's not too bright, and you can probably use it to find your way around without being too disturbing in an albergue. One common means of lighting that you might already have if you're a backpacker or camper is a headlamp. These headlamps can be very handy for a number of reasons. Number one, hands-free. I don't have to worry about it bouncing around on a clip. Anywhere I look, there's my light. If I'm wearing one of these in the albergue, isn't this gonna bother a lot of people? Yes, it absolutely will. So if you're gonna go with a headlamp and you wanna do double duty, go with one that has the red function. What this does is it creates an ambient light that is bright enough to see what you're doing, but because it is red colored, it's not going to be as disturbing or take away your own night vision. This particular headlamp is the Yuko Air 150 Lumen. It is rechargeable. It weighs two ounces, and that's if you keep the big headband, which a lot of people just cut off and replace with cordage. A more traditional headlamp, the kind that you probably see more of, is something like this Vaunt Spark. It's got an angled base so that you can open it up and point it up and down depending on where you're looking. And it's got multiple settings. You've got your white light in three different brightnesses, and then it also has the all-important strobe light to annoy your friends. <laughs> now, this is really good if you're walking down a road or something like that and you wanna make sure people can see you. And then it also has the red lamp feature, which you can also make flash if you want to. And this Vaunt Spark is the giveaway for today. I wanna to thank all of you subscribers. I appreciate you guys so much. Thank you for your comments. Thank you for the dialogue. Vaunt has reached out to me. They are going to send the winner that I choose one of these headlamps. So all you need to do to participate is, number one, be a subscriber. So if you haven't subscribed to Backcountry Pilgrim, if you would just click that bright red subscribe button down there, I would appreciate it. You won't get any notifications unless you also click that bell. 
then just leave me a comment down in the comments saying that you are interested in receiving the headlamp. I will pick a winner at random next week. All right, that's all I got for you today. Thank you so much for viewing. If this video has helped you out with your decision on what kind of light source you might want to bring on your Camino, if you'd hit the like button, I would appreciate it. Until next time, I'm Doug. This is Backcountry Pilgrim, Buen Camino. Hello, I'm Doug. Welcome to Backcountry Pip Pip Pip.